Good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing well, having a great day, great night, wherever you guys are in the world. Welcome back to another episode of CSK News. For our first story today, I want to share with all of you the NIP rumors and the imminent Swedish shuffle coming sometime soon for the NIP roster. Any other Swedish teams out there who are likely to be targets of this? I want to share with all of you the likely rumors as of right now, as well as, of course, NIP finding out earlier last week they will not be playing in this major. That's the two consecutive majors so far for NIP will not be there with this current roster. It does seem likely they will change up something. They lost Pith a couple days ago as well. They released him from his contract. Track. So it does seem going forward this five-man team will not stay together, but who's going to change where who's going to go where no one knows as of right now It does seem a lot of the pro players are in the end on what their future lineup will be We had Chris J from Mouse Sports talk on stream last night about NIP's new roster I'll play that clip for you guys right now as to what Chris J said about the topic hey. Did you see the new NIP lineup Stark in the channel? No, which one? I cannot say I'm streaming I saw today Forest, Xyz, Lecro and DW playing PUBG together. And so again, just like always, it seems like some pro players like to leak things out there. As of right now, nothing has been leaked on the NIP situation, but it does seem other likely rumors out there for a future NIP lineup, uh, as well for this next major. It does seem likely that we could have a couple players from NIP go to Godsent for that Swedish shuffle, just to give it a try at the major. Now, if one of those three players for Godsent, of course, for the major, they have to have three of their players stay there. But if two of the NIP players of the four pack that were saying everyone on the NIP roster besides Drake and being those close pals who love to play together, if two of those guys want to give the other two guys a shot to go play at the major it could be very likely that godsend would take on those two players if they do find them to be better to fill in for two of their spots on that team as well that's a likely rumor but going forward no one really knows a set in stone nip roster but a swedish shuffle does seem imminent as well as the lack in performance besides qualifying for the major from last major for godsend nip has really been struggling godsend struggling it does seem imminent besides the fanatic roster a swedish shuffle could come sometime soon now also on chris j's stream last night i'll show you guys a screenshot he had the title welcome val day now also kind of trying to maybe troll people here but many of you guys heard about Fetish the coach for Team Heroic a very very good team on the rise right now and you're trying to be one of the top three teams there if not even better than that Heroic playing very well and they actually had Kadian step in for Valde as their coach Fetish did bench Valde on that roster Valde well known in that scene for Heroic being one of their better players but he was indeed benched but Kadian did go on to qualify with the team which happened just last year as well Kadian one of those stand-in players who's been playing very well apart from his own team Team Rogue which has semi disbanded they had five players initially are now down to two players but he does seem to still stand in for teams every now and again and he did manage to qualify with that team it does seem likely going forward that Valde might have fielded offers from other teams and that is why Fetish would decide to to actually bench the guy but going forward will he join Mouse Sports that might have been a troll from Chris J but Valde seems to be on the market for CSGO and also last night we had the Gamer CSGO reality show finale just happening last night ended in the best fashion possible the show really kind of started off to a rocky start production wise definitely could have some improvements also, I'll link that website down below for all of you so you can, guys can go and sign up there. We'll be bringing this show all across the world. In this initial setting, it was only Scandinavian players. They do seem to want to bring it to Europe, Africa, America, all across the world, guys, and hopefully they can actually make some really good improvements as the show did end in surprising fashion, surprisingly really fun to watch. It ended in a best of three finale. It goes for blue team that was coached by Spawn versus the red team coached by INS, a 5v5 in a best of three. It went to map three, also ended in overtime with the winning team actually securing those five contracted spots. And yes, here is how it happened, guys, live on stream last night. Got himself flashed now as well. However, <sighs> Elo drops very low on health and the bomb has now been planted. It's a four versus three with Elo down to 10 points of game. health. This should be game. 33 seconds remaining to save the day for Team Red. Here we go. Brolan into the site. Goes down. Last man alive is Elo. He goes down. And Team Blue celebrate. So here on screen are the five members that actually ended and actually won their contracts for the end of season one. The Gamers Championships are taking their Gamers titles, which has really ended in dramatic fashion. It was amazing to watch, especially towards the end of the season. Here are those five players, one of them being JW's little brother, who actually joined the show just about two weeks ago, or less than two weeks ago, as a challenger, ended up being on the winning team and getting himself a contract. Now what that contract entails, I don't have the details for all of you guys, but hopefully season two comes sometime soon as well, as other nations are going to be hosting this CSGO reality show and hopefully making some 
really good improvements to production wise. Other than that though, congrats to those five members. It was an amazing show to watch. And then some other important CSGO news besides Julia finally following me back on Twitter. That was that was pretty cool because she's awesome. More importantly, we actually have Julia and her teammate from Team Secret, that is Zaz, actually joining up with Team Dream Chasers. Many of you know they played the Copenhagen Games, I believe got second there just about last month and did very well with Emilio being on their roster. Dream Chasers this time invited Julia and Zaz to join up with Snyder, Pronax, and Emilio. That'll be their five-man roster on screen for all of you. And they will be going to the Birdie Crew land. What's actually kind of ironic here is because two years ago we had Emilio on this current team going to Birdie, the Birdie land this year, was actually banned from this land two years ago, and he has now finally returned with Team Dream Chasers. Likely going to be a big land event and online qualifying event for several teams out there. And Team Dream Chasers, just like at Copenhagen Games, will be one of your favorite teams. So best of luck to Julia, my girl, and Zaz on that roster going forward for the Birdie Land crew. A lot of met with controversy though. Of course, Emilio still being one of those few back band players who have now returned to ESL rulings after being banned for over two years. He is now free to return to all those local LAN events and ESL events that allow him to be. So of course, met with controversy, but best of luck to them going forward. And the new Mythic Reborn stream team roster has been confirmed, guys. As of this morning, about five hours ago, we have confirmed their new fifth member, which will be former Denial member Anger. Anger actually playing alongside a couple of these guys a long time ago. He played alongside a Dren, so a great match for this team. We had rumors despite, you know, Hiko trying out for the team as well as we saw Freakazoid trying out. They have gone with Anger as their fifth member. Their roster on screen for all of you will of course be Lex, Flom, Adren, Anger, their newest member, and alongside that, Poland as their new five-man roster going forward for next season. It does seem as of right now, Summit will stop playing CSGO for the time being, or at least as much as he used to, but he will be a sub for the team going on next season whenever they need him. So that will be your new Mythic roster, the stream team going forward, and best of luck to them to try and qualify for some lower CSGO events. Hopefully see them at some land events coming sometime soon, and best of luck to them going forward. And lastly, in today's episode of CSGO News, hope you guys all enjoyed. Please leave a comment down below. I'm going to try and reply to as many comments as I can today because I forgot to on last video. But lastly, for all of you, HLTV has decided to update their website. I thought I'd let you all know about that. I'll link it down below for all of you, as it always is. They have a new website out, a new design for all of you, which hopefully is going to have some minor changes. And of course, with all things new, it's going to take some getting used to. But it does look quite nice, although with the screenshots you guys can see, they are using the advert space to the extreme. There are as many adverts as you possibly can fit on there. It seems like almost half the website is either skin trading sites or whatever on the size, but you really can't avoid that. They got to make their own money. But other than that, the update does look very clean, very nice. Hopefully going to make it a little better, a little easier to use itself, and hopefully have minor changes in the future. But HLTV, well done. The website looks amazing. Hope you guys all enjoyed this episode of CSK News. If you guys did, please drop a like if you guys want to. If you don't, please leave a comment down below. As always, thank you all for watching. Thank you so much. I'm hopefully going to have some Q&A videos sometime soon next week and some newer content for all of you. I'm trying my best over here. Been really busy and also got kind of sick this past weekend. But we're back. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Remember, ow. Didn't mean to hit the camera. Hope you guys all enjoy. Live, love, laugh a lot. Remember, I like you. I will see you guys all tomorrow with more CSGO news. Remember, I like you. Goodbye.